Good morning, uh, Robert Lopez, Operations Section Chief on uh, Great Basin Team 2. Uh, from the Bedrock, Pothole, Horse Creek, and Lookout Fires. Uh, just going to kind of give you an, op an overall operational update today, what's going on on the fires, and uh, just to kind of give you guys some information. Uh, out here on, and we'll start down here in the south on Bedrock Fire. Uh, the fire's coming along really well, still doing some cleanup around the edges, especially in uh, Yan Yankee Yankee and Alpha Alpha. That's where our work's going in now to get this uh, private land and this stuff secure out there to the uh, west. So that's where the majority of the work's going. We're focusing in there to try to get that buttoned up super tight. Also continuing the uh, suppression repair activities on the USFS land. Uh, so that's Forest Service land up here to the east. Uh, but our main focus is getting this piece buttoned up here to make sure we've uh, eliminated any uh, forward spread on the bedrock fire. So that kind of over covers the bedrock fire. That fire is ramp uh, ramping down right now. Uh, but we're going to continue to keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't move again. Uh, we're going to shift gears up here kind of to the northeast a little bit. We're going to start down here in the, on the pothole fire. Uh, that fire is coming along pretty good. Still quite a bit of uh, heat in that fire. Continue mop-up operations and trying to get that thing corralled a little bit better and a little bit tighter. Uh, they're still showing some heat in there, so we're still working those edges uh, as safe as we can where we can have people access it. Uh, so that's kind of what's happening with Pothole. Jump up, jumping up onto the Horse Creek fire. Uh, the work's continuing to go on, <clears throat> going on out there. Uh, continue to implement the tactics that a P and W two had on that. Continue to clean it up and try to get it as secure as possible. It is some pretty uh, steep country out in there, so access is limited with the uh, with the hazards out there. But we're still trying to button this up back here and in, in the back side of it, the east side of it, up in here, and then out in here, just making sure we have this uh, good and secure. So same activities out there today. Uh, jumping up into the lookout fire, uh, things are going along really well. Uh, still trying to, uh, we'll start over here in Division Alpha, this area. Uh, still looking for opportunities to tighten up on the fire if we can. But right now we're continuing with the indirect line, the prepping and all that stuff to get out in front of this and get a good buffer in there. If uh, the weather does change on us again and heat back up and starts to move again, then we'll have an option to to close the door on it out here a little bit to the north, the northwest. Uh, but other than that, Alpha's looking really good. Bravo's still scouting this out. Uh, and Delta also is doing this, uh, prepping the lines out in front of it, looking for opportunities to uh, look to get in closer if it's safe and possible. We don't know if they're there, uh, but we're going to continue to scout that and try to put that together. Uh, jumping over in the Foxtrot. That went really well, the burnout that happened in there to get all that secure. They're going to continue to secure that edge to the west and uh, continue to work on that and look for opportunities to cut it back in the Division Delta to, to close that gap a little bit more up there on the, the northeast side of, of Lookout in between Delta and Foxtrot. Jumping down in November, uh, looking really good. We're going to really hammer the spot fire that went across the highway. Uh, I do believe that's the 126 road. Uh, they're going to get in there today and try to mop it up as safe as possible on there. So there will be some impact to the roads there. Shouldn't have any road closures or anything like that, but we will have firefighters in that area. So if you are traveling through that area, that'd be great if you'd slow down a little bit and just uh, give our folks a little bit more room uh, to work. Uh, and so that drops us down in November uh, along the river corridor. Everything's looking really good. there. going to continue to mop up and secure that. And also along all the structures here along the McKenzie River corridor, uh, continue to clean that up and just secure that up for uh, future future hot spots and stuff like that. Just trying to get that picked up for to make sure 126 stays open. And that's kind of end of report today for the activities that are going to take on on these four fires.